Hello and hi students. I am Pichakala to teach you science today. Today our topic will be manipulative skills. Dear students, today's lesson is we will be learning on how to use and handle science apparatus and substances easily. Number two, handle specimens correctly. Number three, sketch specimens, apparatus and science substances easily. Number four, clean science apparatus correctly. Lastly, store science apparatus and substances correctly and safely. So all of these are the manipulative skills that we are going to learn today, students. Before that, let's see what does manipulative skills mean. Students, you may refer to your textbook, page 12. Manipulative skills refer to the ability to use and handle science apparatus and substances correctly when carrying out scientific investigations. For example, when we do experiment or investigation, we will be using all these manipulative skills. Let's look at the manipulative skills practiced in science room. Number one, use and handle science apparatus and substances correctly. For example, when you enter science room and you want to do experiment, you need to listen to the teacher's explanation before you start doing. The teacher will explain how to do experiment and how to handle science apparatus and substances, students. Number two, handle specimens correctly and carefully. So you may ask, what is specimen? Students, specimen means a living thing. For example, in this case, we are talking about garden snail. So, garden snail is the specimen. In other experiments, we may use spider or a grasshopper. So, we call them specimens. For example, if I ask you to catch garden snail, the first thing you need to do is you must find the garden snail using suitable apparatus. For example, in this picture, we can see that we should wear a glove. Do not use bare hands. If you want to catch a grasshopper, you should use a net. Nextly, you should place the specimen in a tray and use the magnifying glass to observe the features of the garden snail. Then, you should sketch and label them. Lastly, you should return the specimen. You must put it back from where you took it from and you must not throw them. Number 3. Sketch specimens, apparatus and science substances correctly. Example, sketching hibiscus, beaker, and water. The first step, put the hibiscus in the tray and you observe before you sketch. When you start sketching, it must be clear and accurate. Lastly, you should label your sketch. So, your sketching must be clear, accurate, and labeled. Then, you will get full students. 
students number four clean science apparatus correctly for example washing a test tube for cleaning you need to use clean water in the science lab usually science lab provide everything to clean science apparatus example cleaning a test tube must use water and also brush once you clean them it will be wet so you need to dry them and place them at designated area for test tube they have test tube holders or rack number 5 stop science apparatus and substances correctly and safely usually students there will be a big rack with labels in the science lab so you will stop all the apparatus according to the label you should put back the apparatus from where you took it from for example storing a beaker and story a magnifying glass so that's all for manipulative skills it's easy right students usually when we do experiments or investigation we need to use all these manipulative skills learned and so my dear students do you still remember science research skills learned we have learned this for 3 weeks and these are the science process skill learned number 1 observe number 2 classify number 3 measure and use numbers number 4 communicate and lastly today we learn manipulative skills so all the manipulative skills are recorded here students we should use manipulative skills to do experiments or investigations number 1 use and handle science apparatus and substances correctly number 2 handle specimens correctly and carefully number 3 sketch specimens apparatus and science substances correctly number 4 clean science apparatus correctly number 5 lastly store science apparatus and substances correctly and safely so my dear students if you look at the first one we use and handle science apparatus so we start doing our experiment number 2 we handle specimens correctly and carefully we use the specimens we handle them uh, we catch them uh, we handle them with care number 3 we sketch the specimens if we are looking at uh, a specimen for example the garden snail we put them on the tree and we sketch them before we sketch we observe we use the science process skill we observe and we sketch the specimens or apparatus or science substances correctly okay how do we sketch the specimen students we should sketch accurately and we should label them remember we should label them correctly number 4 after the experiment we should clean the science apparatus we must not just keep the science apparatus used on the table and leave the glass we should clean the science apparatus correctly and lastly store science apparatus and substances correctly and safely that means you should store them put them back at the correct place from where you took them from teacher hope you understand the topic for today and these are all the manipulative skills you should know before you enter science lab and so my dear students teacher hope that you understand 
the topic for today that is manipulative skills. So, it's class time. Teacher want you to open your activity book, page 9 and page 10. So, this is science activity book, page 9 students. So, look at the page, sequencing and investigation. Write the date today, okay? Please write the date and read the instructions. Number the correct sequence for the steps in a scientific investigation. So, my dear students, you need to arrange the sentences according to the steps you should read all the sentences and please arrange them previously teacher taught you how to use manipulative skills so you should know how to read and arrange them correctly okay then you should rewrite the investigation steps in the correct order after you arrange them, you put number 1, 2, 3, and 4, and then arrange them nicely. Please write using a proper pencil and proper capital C. Sketch. You should put capital and also don't forget your full stop. So write neatly and don't forget to <coughs> write with correct spellings. Okay, students? Teacher Ko, you can do this page correctly. Next, Science Activity Book, page 10. Same students, manipulative skills. Please write the date today and read the instructions. Match the manipulative skills practiced by the students in the pictures given. So, these are the manipulative skills. One, two and three and these are the pictures number one number two number three you should look at the pictures carefully and clearly then think of what manipulative skills are being practiced by the students and please write neatly do you understand students And yes, students, we have just ended our class. Teacher hope you understand the topic for today, manipulative skills. And if you have any doubts, you may re-watch the video or even call me or text me. Thank you, students. Hope to meet you in school next week. Till then, ta-ta and bye-bye.